talk some NHL 17 here. Now, if you didn't watch the awards, they announced their cover athlete, the online beta, and they showed some gameplay of the game. Now first, let's talk about the cover athlete, because that's real quick. It's Vladimir Tarasenko, if you didn't know. I think that's a good choice. He's a Russian player. He's the first, uh, first Russian player in a while. I don't remember the last Russian to don the cover of an NHL game, so it's really good for Tarasenko. I'm sure he's really happy with it. And the beta. If you're not signed up for the beta yet, go ahead and sign up. You have until July 7th. You have to go to EA Sports website, and then you'll receive a code that allows you access to the NHL 17's online versus HUT and EASHL modes up until August 4th, I believe. I don't know when it starts. I think it's in later July. But you'll get access to some of the modes in NHL 16, or NHL 17, excuse me. And I think that'll be a really good look at the game. We can really see how good of a job they did. And I'm really excited for that. Now, getting to the trailer uh, and the gameplay that was shown. First, first things first, we need to talk about the dab. Oh my god. I, why is this in the game, first off? Why? I've seen very few NHL players do it. And yes, I know it's a cultural thing now. Everybody's dabbing and... If personally, it's I think it's a little ridiculous, but I don't celebrate in the game. First off, I let the computer just do whatever. After I score a goal, I don't touch my player. I let it do whatever celebration it does. And if it does a dab, I'm gonna I'm just gonna drop the controller right there. I can't believe that it's actually in the game, and <laughs> I think it's a little ridiculous. But a couple other things. There was the Yager salute which I am very excited for. That was my favorite celebration in 2011, I believe. I know it was, it's been in a game before. Whenever you would score an overtime goal, it would sometimes do the Yager salute. There would be another one where he was like sliding on the knees like the Nail Yakupov celebration. I absolutely love the Yager salute. I'm glad that it's coming back to the game, and I hope that when after I score a goal, like I said, I don't do anything. That's just me. I hope it'll do the Yager salute for me, because honestly, that is easily my favorite NHL celebration ever. Now, going to the gameplay, I didn't really notice too many changes just from the trailer, and I would love to show it here. I got in trouble for showing the uh, the opening scene to NHL, uh, NHL 16, so I'm not even going to uh, get into showing the NHL 17 trailer. If you want to go see it, uh, I'll leave a link down below. You guys can go ahead and check it out for yourselves. But I, I don't want to get in trouble by using it, so I'm just avoiding that altogether. The gameplay, uh, not too much has changed. There's battling in front of the net, which we'd already known from the Vision trailer. Uh, there's new celebrations, but for the most part, it just looks like they worked on their presentation. If you saw some of the goals, they were greasy goals being scored. Uh, Sidney Crosby's wraparound. That looks like something you can already do in NHL 16. It just looks like for NHL 17, you're going to be able to get around the net a little faster. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Like, the wraparound will be a little quicker. So your goalie will have to be absolutely be perfect on that to make the save. Because as a Red Wings fan, one of Dylan Larkin's first goals, it was on Craig Anderson. He's coming down the wing. I don't know if he fakes the shot or whatever. But Craig Anderson cheats it out a little bit, goes out. Dylan Larkin sees that and wraps it around the net, and he's real quick with it. And he has plenty of room to tuck it. Now, I know there's been other wraparound goals, but I just know that Dylan Larkin goal. I can see it in my head right now. I wonder if that's more of what you're going to be able to do in NHL 17. Like, wraparounds are going to be really good, so you have to take your defenders below the goal line. Because you don't really have to do that in NHL 16. I think that opens up the middle a little bit more. You'll see less people playing skill zone. So who knows what you can get just from that. Uh, the greasy goals. I, you already see that in NHL 16. I, I wonder if that's just going to be more prevalent. There's going to be less snipes from the slot. And there's just going to be more greasy goals. I hope they're not accidental goals. Because if you watch the trailer... They don't seem to like they're just digging and digging for it. It's just like a shot and it trickles by the goalie, which I don't want to see that. That I've had enough of that crap in NHL 16 that I don't want it in NHL 17. And I think that's honestly just about it. The presentation in the game, it looks like they again worked on it, which 
NHL 16's presentation wasn't bad. It was good, and obviously has room for improvement, and it looks like they did that in NHL 17, but for the presentation, I think I, they improved it. That's all I can really say about that. Uh, I don't think there's really too much else to talk about. If you haven't haven't signed up for the beta, I'll remind you about that again. Go ahead, go sign up for it. NHL 17 releases on September 13th, so that'll be, what, a couple months away now? It's June right now, or it's almost July, it's almost July. Uh, it's a couple days away from July, so, I mean, we're a couple months away. I mean, what else can I say? A little over two and a half months, something like that. So, I, I'm really excited for NHL 17, and if you, if you hadn't heard any news since before the trailer... Uh, you haven't heard about the game modes then. So the World Cup of Hockey, uh, Franchise Mode, and uh, Draft Champions. So NHL 17 is looking like it's going to be a really good game. There's new presentation of cards, or at least it should be in the game. New presentation of GM Mode, which I'm really excited for. So I really hope I get access to the beta so I can really show it off to you guys without getting in trouble at all. Just because I, I don't want to mess with copyright or anything like that, so... Not worrying about that. If you guys want to see it, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description. I'll try and leave links to all that NHL news, like the Vision trailer, the gameplay trailer, any news, any like the news of the cover star, and yeah, I'll I'll just leave that down in the description. And uh, yeah, that'll be all for now. Then, so until next time, I'll see ya.